Hey people, how's it going? I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that this is the last too much Dragon Age. Right click to move. Um, this is the last Kingmaker episode. Because uh, I was reading this and then uh, let me pause. I was reading a walkthrough uh, about the haunted castle or the haunted house that we just bought. And apparently by completing that you'll get enough votes to start the election. I'm like, okay, so what's the election about? Blah, blah, blah. And uh, then you start the final battle. Which is basically it. You win, then you go fight the final battle. And so I was reading about that. Well, guess who the final boss is? Hey, spoilers, if you don't want to know, I'll give you a minute to go away. The final boss is an, an illithid. If you don't know what an illithid is, it's also known as a mind flayer. Um, they use mental attack that will stun you, and then they will walk up, and they'll stick their little tentacles into your ears and suck your brain out. I hate them. I hate them. They're my second monster that I hate. The only thing I hate more is undead. Specifically vampires. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Because it's like, I'm not going to be a high enough level to kill an illithid, especially as a, as a mage. Spoilers. Uh, so I'm going to talk to the stand and see about getting a quest from him, and then uh, we're going to go do the mansion. So is that the good news? Oh yeah, the bad news is that this is ending. The good news is this is ending. So let's talk to the stand. The stand sees that you have returned. How may the stand assist you now? Lection. Stan is... I'm not going to, you know. I'm the foremost authority for trade skill. I've been keen understanding of the three contenders. What would you ask? How can I get your guild to vote for me? If I'm pleased with the work you do for me, I'll know you're serious about the trade of, of an adventurer. One job must be completed. I'd be pleased if all were accomplished. Okay, so tell me about them. Three jobs. Dwarves, cows, or an archaeologist. Assisting the archaeologist is my important job that will all need to be done. Tell me about the cows. Those foul yet clever lizardkin, the cobbles, are supplying the masked man's army with food gathered from the poor peasants and landowners in the area. The farmers have come to ask that someone go and free their cows from the clutches of the cunning cobbles. They offer 500 gold in return. Monsters have also stolen the store of grain, so you might be able to get the cows to follow you by using it. Alias can show you where the cow cave is. I'll save the cows. Farmers will be pleased when they see their herds again. If you get the cattle out of the caves, they should wander home. Speak to Alias when you're ready to go. Safe journeys. That's actually the easiest. Go out here. All right. Um, El Mapo. No, this is not the right if way. If you can spare me a moment, I should like to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? Now you have your first vote. You're on your way to clear your own politics. I'd cheer you on if I didn't have such a pit of fear in my guts about the whole situation. Uh, about what? I worry about you. You've been my closest friend for years, and I can't help but think of my last friend, who's also under the rule of a si ruler of a sizable population. Not sure if I ever told you anything about this before, but when I lived at my home plane, I was champion of young Duke. Okay, and we're not going to be able to accomplish anything today. My father was the high counselor for an old duke, and he groomed his three sons to take over different responsibilities for Duke Shun Dashiano. My oldest brother was trained in quarter trade, blah blah. I was chosen as a young duke's friend. We were taught statesmanship, weapons, hunting, and the necessary art. Yeah. You never told me you were so powerful once. It was a difficult time. I lost my entire family and my best friend. I didn't have any choice in my role either. It was all luck, especially it happened to be the same age as Dash. We spent years together. We were both 16 years old when his father died in a war and he became the new Duke. 
My father was still the high counselor, so I began to spend less time with Dash and more time with the courtiers. My older brother welcomed me into his social group, which should have been my first warning. What happened? I'm tired. Oh, fuck you! Then why did you start talking about it, you asshole? Alright. So, can't learn any of those spells. That's for selling. We learn protection. Oh, well, alright. We can sell that shit. Ring of protection plus one. Put that on my little finger. Alright. Um. Just pop in how? Huh? I'm not giving you money. Where are all the people at? waste. Well Come here. It is simply unnatural. So how can I help you? How can I get the priest to vote for me? Only one thing I my god truly care about, and that's gold. Sir Beckett has paid me a thousand gold to try and change the priest guild vote. Unfortunately, the others have not been swayed. If you can persuade Lavos to vote for you, and if you can pay me two thousand gold, I'll add my voice to yours and we shall see what music we can make together. That's a lot of gold. Anything less than double my previous bribe would be an insult to both Calhai and to myself. I shall continue to support Sir Beckett unless you can outbribe him. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, this guy. No. Lavos. Lavos? Lavos. Hey! I am Lavos, servant of Mistress Death. Death greets you, waiting with eternal patience. You are welcome in this place, though why I do not understand. Death greets me? I've had a vision, a glorious vision of Mistress Death, and she told me to assist you. She sent a spirit to me and gave, me this, gave the spirit the ability to bring you back from my mistress's realm. For Death to do such things is unnatural. I don't like this. Such wonders are rare to behold, and such requests rare still. I feel the presence of the spirit in your weapon. So do you know why my goddess favors you? Death seems to follow in my wake. That is the mark of one favor, but it does not explain why you are favored. I guess we shall discover the reason in time. So how may I be of service? Can I get the priest vote? If the mistress feels favor for you, then I shall support you, though I will support you in that. I'll explain my position to Dinshal, though he will likely also need Raphael's support to sway. All right. Well met. It is simply unnatural. So how can I help you? Merchandise. Ooh. Wait. Anything else? This 
scabbard of blessing. Okay. Is that all? Well met. Yep. It is simply unnatural. So how can I help you? Vote. Is there any other way I could convince you? As I said, there's nothing else we care for. Find the requisite amount of gold, convince levels to support you, and the vote is yours. Even Kalahi would not charge so much. I think you'd be surprised, but you're rather convincing. I'll lower it to 1700. Here. Must be favored by Kali. Kalahi to have such wealth. I shall s tell Denishal that I, Raphael, son of. would have you vote for it. Would have us vote for you. Hopefully he will listen to me. Thank you. So that's two votes. Got the chicken. Oh, it's nighttime, so let's check out this haunted house we bought. Mini brick manter manor. All right. All right. Let's save. Let's go see what we can do in here. What? Candelabra uninjured. A ghostly voice echoes out of the flames of the candelabra. Good night, madam. May I make an inquiry and a piece of advice? Who are you? My apologies. I'm Reginald Endros, butler for Lady Rayhan's estate. Well, I know he's a candelabra, but we'll ask. Very difficult to put an answer to that question. I was a butler for this manor all my life, but when our lady died, I found my spirit trapped in the house. For the longest time, I was like the other angry spirits in here, but then I discovered that I could enter objects and move about. So now I'm a candelabra butler. Except I have no one to buttle for as of late. You could be my butler. Are you just a trespasser or are you the new owner of the manor? I own the house. Good news, madam. I would love to serve you as a personal butler. If you can clear the other spirits out of here, that is. Wouldn't your spirit like to be free? No, I, I'd like being a butler. It's all I have ever known. I can be a good helper. Okay. Thank you. I won't let you down, I promise. If you need anything or have any questions, come just come and speak to me. History of the place? Excuse me, let me get a drink. <coughs> Damn ghosts. Oh, it's never been a truly happy home. Even before Lady Rayhan passed, she would sometimes weep just as she does now. But it was never my place to console her, only to observe as is befitting of a butler. The night before she died, a man came to visit her and spent it in her bed. Hmm. It was as if she took on his joy and he took on her weeping sadness. Hi, how you doing? But I should not gossip about my former mistress. Suffice it to say, it did not end well. At any rate, her spirit haunts the place as do all those who served her. Be careful and do what you can for her. Are you happy? It's good to have a mistress again. Perhaps you can lift the melancholy from this place. You might want to consider throwing a few parties, don't you think? And don't go neglecting your health either, madam. That outfit doesn't look proper for the season. I haven't been outside in ages, but since you have to go outside all the time, you should dress warmly. Oh, yeah. Very good. I shall keep watch and keep house. Have a pleasant day. Yep, I just saw her. Go right on by. Right. Oh, doobie die. Nuha.
Don't touch me. Nature cries for your blood. And this guy, get him. Down no, don't touch me. Asked you not to touch me. Oh, get out you of me. As well give up right now. Jesus. Okay. understand why you bought this place but i do hope you'll buy a few plants to liven it up uh -huh. hi <sighs> there is something of interest here yes anything in here Belt of agility? Probably a magic bag. Oh! Dex plus one and freedom. Get in! Alright, a secret great. Okay, this is not creepy at all. This is the day of creepy games. Friday the thirteenth. Your muffled sounds coming from the crack in the wall behind the grate. If the crack is too low to the ground to see anything through, you might be able to listen if you get closer. Yeah, I'm gonna stick my head through that gobweb. That was satisfactory. Meet me again tonight after I am finished with Alicia. The man's voice is unmistakably that of Sir Beckett. Just as unmistakable as the fact that the woman he is speaking to is not Lady Alicia. I think my mistress would be most displeased if she discovered our relationship. I do not pay you to think. And if you ever say a word to Alicia, I will have you killed. No one will care about the death of a lady's maid. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Tonight. And bring a friend. Mm. No. Where's my ring? Well, I'll find it later. I need to find out what this new contender of mine is doing. When it comes to politics, never trust the enemy, they say. I might have to take steps. Footsteps fade away as Sir Beckett leaves. A flash of light glints off something gold on the floor, right below the crack of the wall. Let's Let's put this new belt to use. Success! Your fingers grasp a small ring and pull it out. It looks like Sir Beckett's signet ring. Oh, yeah! Let's 
get out of this creepy ass place. Go into the hole. Ah! There, everything seems to be in order. Was there something else I can help you with? No. Get away from me. Get him, people. I can't hit for shit. Nature cries for your blood. Hooray. down too heavily I fear I know I know just calm your boobles banded mail I am weighted down too heavily I fear. Dwarven war axe plus one I am weighted down too heavily I fear and a tower shield did we do it Or you could close the door, that's fine. Anything in the books? Bolts, I can use those. Alright. Dude, dude, new door open. Alright. Well, I didn't see any stairs, so... The guildmaster of the nobles is a young woman, Lady Alicia. She's engaged to marry and loves her back it. It's a slim hope that I will be able to gain the nobles' vote. I found a passage to a crawl space that leads under Lady Alicia's home. Through a sewer grate, I was able to overhear an affair between Sir Baggett and Alicia's chambermaid. I must decide if this information could be taken to Sir Baggett or Lady Alicia. Huh. I need to find a bar. Maybe in here. I'm looking for the military dude. Else. 
Was he in here? Yep. Alright. If I remember so correctly. So, you're the one who bought that old place next to Lady Alicia's, are you? Yep, that's me. I see you are back. Did you have further questions? Tell me about the election. Would you consider changing your vote? Not for all the gold in the world. I can't even think of a single thing that could convince me. Even if someone held a sword in my throat, I would vote for Enovid as they lapped off my head. That's awesome. You want to have a drink? Join you in the toast. To perhaps if you come to the mossy tree tonight, you shall find me there. Talk about something else. What would you like to speak to me of? Uh, questions. Something else. Okay. Mossy tree. Okay. How do you tell time in this game? Like that. Where is the noble woman? End of it. Huh. Well, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, God damn it. Just a second. Make it to the phone. Alright. Swipe. Nope. It's completely the other way. So I was looking for Lady Alicia. Maybe she's in her house. Let's try the house. Hello? There we go. Good day to you. I am Alicia Silvertongue, and who might you be? I am Patrice Brogan. Be welcomed, my well-mannered hero. I did recognize you, but it's not fitting for a gentle lady to boldly proclaim advanced knowledge. No, it isn't. Sir Magnus told me little about you, largely negative, but I'm neither displeased nor impressed with what I see. When we first met, Sir Beckett had a disreputable charm. I really took him under my wing and taught him the proper social graces, but enough of that. You must be here about the election. Yeah, let's talk about that. There's a little discuss. My love, Sir Beckett, will be Lord of the Keep, and I shall rule by his side as his wife. Uh, any way to change your vote? How did I ever think of betraying my dear love? I'd never stab him in the back. If I did such a thing, how could I ever trust him to hold faith with me? Well, they ain't no nice way and I ain't no lady. He's screwing your maid. Swirls and colors with rage. You lie. You don't even know what you're talking about. My love would never betray me. Yeah, um, he's screwing your maid. Why should I believe you? If I asked him, he would deny it and it would only be your word against his. You know the truth. I but it doesn't take much to persuade her. I don't want to believe you. He would never do such a thing, would he? I mean, he did it once in the beginning, but he promised he would never do it again. Yeah, well, talk to your maid. That whore, I'll kill her. No, it's not her fault. He's done this before. I should have known better than to believe him. What a fool am I, I am. Patrice, I must thank you for opening my eyes. I guess I owe you. You have the Nobles Guild vote. Take this ring you gave me. I don't ever want to see it again. I need to mourn my poor heart. I'm sorry, but I had to tell you. Do you want me to hurt him for you? She nearly chokes on herself. Oh, Patrice, thank you for the offer, and it's tempting. No, I think when word gets out among the nobles, I'll have my pleasure to discredit him. All right, goodbye, goodbye. <gasps> we leveled up. We leveled up. 
and then unfortunately this is the last video cuz I'm sorry but I'm not fighting a mind flare that's just all there is to it so uh we will be a level five wizard wizard Helmets, craft a trap. Okay. Oh, there it is. Craft wand. traps flame arrow no work there we go very good things are coming along quite nicely Soon you shall have regained all the power you once had. Now, how would you instruct me to grow in power? Okay, what powers can I choose? Ability to hit and damage. Okay, I'm ready. But electrical. Enemies are in for quite a shock. Herder. All right. So that's cool. That's awesome. But that's it. I can't move. My legs are broke. <laughs> yep. I think that's all for Kingmaker because I can't. I can't fight in a lithid. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, that makes me a bad person. It makes me a bad LP -er, But that's it. I should should stop playing games I don't know how to play or I've never played before. So here we go. Get out of the way. Patrice Brogan, Wizard, Neverwinter Nights, Kingmaker. She's gone, but Patrice Brogan will be back in a future LP. If you would like to give uh, your two cents on a uh, future LP, I'll probably be starting a new one on Monday. Uh, not associated with Neverwinter Nights. I think people hate that. I'm getting no views. Nothing. Uh, so, something. If you want to know what games I have, drop me... Uh, I don't know if you can drop me a PM on here. Google Plus, Tumblr, Twitter, Patreon. You can always contact me there. And I'll let you know. You can always leave your suggestions in the comments. I'll let you know uh, if I want to play it, if I've never heard it, if I don't have it, if it's like, oh my god, oh yes, la 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 la. You know, so I'm open. Otherwise, if you don't say anything, it's what I want to play or what I decide to play. Anyway, Patrice Brogan, signing out. See you on Monday. Bye.